Leah Carey, alone in my head without adult supervision. <laughs> alone in my head without adult supervision. Leah Carey. <laughs> six-year-old your car keys and send her to the grocery store for a gallon of milk? Would you give a six-year-old your shoebox full of receipts and ask him to do your taxes? Would you let a six-year-old go on the most important job interview of your career? These things sound crazy. And yet, I recently realized that I had a six-year-old running my life, and I had no idea. <laughs> Madam Contest Chair, members, honored guests, several weeks ago, I was doing a forgiveness meditation as part of a class assignment. In my meditation, a six-year-old girl showed up. She had a long braid. She was wearing a baseball helmet. She looked really sad. This was that little girl. Her name is Leah, six years old. She showed up and reminded me of the day that changed her life. It was the final inning of the final game of the season for Leah's Pee Wee T-Ball League. Her team had won every game of the season. But in this final game, they were down by one run. Now the coaches had decided to give the kids a treat. And in this final inning, they were going to pitch the ball to them instead of hitting it off the tee. This was something they hadn't practiced. So the coaches allowed the kids to each make a choice about whether they wanted to get up to bat or not. There are two boys at the front of the bench. Of course they wanted to try. Then there were two girls. They weren't interested. Then it was time for Leah. Do you want to try? Of course! This was new, it was exciting, it was something she had never done before. So she got to bat. And in that moment, she didn't worry if she could do it, if she should do it, or what anybody would think of her. All she knew was that this was fun. Now, Leah's hand-eye coordination was not good under the best of circumstances. When the ball was sitting still on top of a tee that didn't move, she couldn't hit it. <laughs> so when the ball was flying through the air at her, the chances of her hitting it were not good. She didn't hit it. She made the final out of the final inning of the final game of the season. And in her six-year-old brain, she thought, not only had she lost the game for her team, but she had ruined a perfect season. In that moment, Leah stopped taking risks. She started worrying what everyone thought about her. She stopped living her life, started just trying to get through. So when Leah showed up in my meditation, she reminded me, she showed me, I haven't been taking risks. I have been so worried what everyone thinks about me. And I've been just trying to get through the day. Now it's time to change. So in my meditation, I imagined putting a party hat on Lisa. <laughs> and putting a party hat on Leah. I imagined giving her a party favor, and I took one. 
<laughs> I imagined her entire team gathering around her and lifting her up on their shoulders and cheering and celebrating because she had had the courage to try. I said to her, I am so sorry for the terrible things that I thought about you and for how ashamed I was of you. I'm so proud of you for having the courage to try. I hope that I can be more like you again. And I forgave myself for carrying the shame of a six-year-old girl into my adult life. six-year-old has been alone in my head without adult supervision for 26 years. <laughs> now it's time for me to step up to bat and take charge. Madam Contest Chair.